Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to wait a couple days before I put a video out. I didn't even know if I was going to put a video out uh, on the uh, the banning of LiveScope and MPFL. And then I seen Bassmaster put out some newly revised rules. Uh, I don't have them right in front of me, but I did read through them. And I'm going to say 100% as a business decision from all of them, I agree. MPFL, that is the right move for their business. Uh, that's the right move for their business, and I think it's an excellent move on their part. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Bassmaster, I think that what they did was they did a little to try to appease a lot. Um, nothing is going to change there, but we'll talk about that. In let's talk about MPFL first, and I'm sure. MFA, MLF will come out with something very similar. Maybe you can use it two of the three, you know, two of the three periods or something like that. I'm sure they'll, they're trying to appease everyone. And, and in my opinion, I would try to appease anybody. You don't like it, don't watch. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like folks that go, you know, when they watch my videos, well, I don't like your ads. Either don't watch or subscribe to YouTube Premium. I don't control which ads come up, but yes, ads are going to come up because I make a little money off of it. So I'm not going to turn the ads off. I mean, I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to make a little money. I worked hard to get to 30,000 subscribers, and and uh, so I'm going to reap the benefits of that. And but NPFL banning LiveScope, I don't know how that's going to really change competition any. Um, you're going to see small... They don't have a lot of viewership anyway. This is not a viewership-based... Nobody... I, nobody I may, I've watched a couple minutes of NPFL, but I'm like Milliken on this. Fishing is boring to watch as a whole. Now, I know I've said this, and a few people, I love, I love it. I love to see the old grinder events. <laughs> Somebody said that the Bashmaster Classic in Pittsburgh was my favorite one ever. <coughs> Are you kidding me? That was the worst classic ever. I mean, like four pounds, 15 ounces, and people were, ah! Are you kidding me? Who wants to bring five one pounders to the scale? This was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was boring. It, it was not fun. I mean, it's everybody knows it's the worst classic ever. They did it because it's in the city of Pittsburgh, and you got to have certain criteria to have a classic. Uh, all events are not going to be grinder events. All, just like all events are not live scope events. And, and I know somebody, oh, it's limiting the amount of techniques. I mean, in the deep summertime on Kentucky Lake, there ain't but a couple techniques that dominates there every single time. You get pre-spawned. There's a couple techniques that dominate. It's always some techniques. These are just things that they fall back on. MPFL did a good job. You know why? They're not based on viewership. They're trying to grow. And the only way that they're actually going to get some a, a chance to compete with Bass and MLF is to get some of these big names. There are several big name people, big names, uh, coming out of uh, that are getting taken out of bass and MLF due to not qualifying. Older names, bigger names that didn't requalify, and MPFL is making doing something to attract those guys, maybe to try to get those guys in there. Um, MPFL started off as a you know an everyday everyday man's working man's tour, and it's no longer a working man's tour. It is a it is like the minor leagues. It's just like the Bass Opens. It's just like the Invitationals on MLF. That's what it is. The only difference is ML, uh, MPFL, there's there's nowhere to go beyond there. Um, MPFL is struggling for money. Uh, I don't care what anybody says because they didn't even have a championship. They didn't have the money. They ran out of money. No championship. So they made a good decision. It's a decision to try to save their organization and hats off to them. You got to make some moves. Sometimes the moves might not be popular or they may not be popular with everybody. This will attract some people. Most people with live scopes are still going to fish. People who, 
you know, people who don't have live scopes, they're loving it. It's right up Randy Blockhead's alley. What an idiot. Victory! The problem with people like Randy Blockhead is he doesn't want, he never said he wanted it banned in tournaments. He said he wanted it banned, period. So what he sees, just like gun nuts, gun hating nuts, see, when I say gun hating nuts, I'm a gun nut. But gun hating people, anti gun people, what they see is, you know, they don't try to ban it all at once. They try to ban little increments. So it's like sticking a frog in boiling water, he'll hop out. But if you stick him in water and bring it to a bowl, he'll sit there till he's dead. That's the way gun nuts think, and that's the way Randy Blockett thinks. He's an idiot. He's blockhead. He's a, he's a liberal left winger, and I'm right winger. Somebody told me I can't say that in my video. I don't bring politics in. I'll bring anything I want to bring into it because this is my channel. If you don't like it, click the unsubscribe and stop watching. I'm a red-blooded American USA to the core. I vote red, and I lean red, and I will not hide that from anybody. Nobody hides it from me what they like. Why well, can't I hide it from them? So, MPFL made a wonderful decision. Bass, I think they, they, they realized, I thought they kind of felt like something needed to be done. Um, some of the screen sizes and things are getting out of hand. I guess there's three on the front, three on the back, three 16s on the front, 48 inches, three two 12s on the back, three 12s in some cases. I, I think that's probably getting a little out of hand because a lot of it's overkill, a lot of it's repetition. So I think they made a great decision. So I think Bass made a great decision, a great uh, decision. And I want to go like the 55 inch limit. Um, it had got a little bit. I mean, so many people had 70, 80, 100 inches of units. Uh, I could see, and, and it was a good deal to fall back on the... Uh, we're using it as a safety issue because that it, it is a safety issue. People can't see over the dash, and then you got all this stuff up front. That's very smart. Um, it, it's a way of staying neutral in the thing too. Very smart and bass to do that. Um, having one unit, <clears throat> uh, one transducer unit on the boat, I don't think that's going to make a big change. Um, uh, you know, I, I just don't. People don't. People don't use both of them a lot. People don't use perspective a lot with Ford. It does happen. Don't get me wrong, but people don't, as a whole, use it. Usually, you're either perspective or you're in forward mode uh, as a whole. So yeah, they're going to have to reach down there. The uh, the mount guys are. Uh, they're going to love them. Uh, they they're they're going to love this. I mean, this is going to open up a whole new market for mounts and things like that. Um, people like NBT Marine are going to love this because their people are going to try to try to maximize that 55 inches. Uh, if you get a 22 inch screen up front, they'll probably have one 16 inch screen at the, uh, maybe at the, uh, up front for mapping. And then maybe another 16 inch screen, um, another 16 inch screen at the console. So, I mean, yes, this is going to help. And it's also going to help one thing. It's going to help boat manufacturers. To be able to not have to build these gigantic, uh, crazy consoles to house 43 units. Um, that's a big deal. Um, and I, I knew after the Lake Fork event with the uh, brakes, um, the, the crappie brakes as most people call them, I knew that this was going to be something that they, an issue that they tackled very quickly. Uh, because you get back trolling, especially people throwing the minnows where they would throw it and then use the, tr whether or not they're supposed to or not, use the actual crappie brakes to back troll so you can almost troll without officially trolling because it's hard to tell what you're doing, leaving that bait in the zone without actually working. So these are good things. Um, I, I think all the changes were, were very well thought out. I thought they were very, uh, they stayed pretty neutral in how they did it i like how they said that and they left it open say hey we will interpret or uh they have to be approved uh no side imaging on the backs because it got a little crazy so hey you reel it in without taking a complete group your younger generation out and you co couple that with mpfl pretty much taking in these guys with the the nose you got the perfect you have the perfect uh 
you have the perfect storm right there. I believe it was a good changes. And I got to say, hey, I'm okay with it. Here's the other thing. Whether they ban them or not, whether they ban it or not, it's never going to change me. I'm not going to fish professionally. I, I have no problem whether they ban it or not. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I usually watch, watch pretty heavy the first part of the season. Then by the end of the season, I just kind of look at the results. I get tired of watching it. Um, and this year was probably worse because I got so tired of hearing the older anglers gripe about they don't have any chance, but yet they still had live scope on their boat, to which they exclaim, they, they uh, expressed that it's so easy to learn. Any idiot can do it. Um, any idiot can be good at it, but yet then they turn around and gripe because it's taking a whole group of anglers out. And that's a whole different argument, but I just get tired of listening to it. Um, I enjoy watching it. You know, and I made the comment, what's the difference? I look at the back of your head, you're flipping a tree, and the back of your head while you're doing live scope, they look, look stupid. They're both boring. You have your die hardcore guys, I'd much rather watch Hackney flip a tree. That's real skill, and th they're idiots out there. That's no skill, but that's all semantics. I'm tired of cry arguing about it. I'm actually, you know, I mean, that's why I waited a while to put out the video, but I know there's two organizations doing it now, so hey, we had, you know, had to say something. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Tell me whether you agree. Good moves, bad moves, uh, whatever you think. Let me know in the comments. Comment below. Let me know. Ring the bell. All right, guys. So here's what I've been doing. Been experimenting. Yes. Okay, when you're running less noise rejection, you're going to see more. So what I did was I yanked that gain all the way up to kind of show you what we're talking about. And if you go way down, uh, you see that. But I've been running about 65 to 68, just like normal. And yes, you see the resemblance of a ghost tree. That doesn't bother me because uh, I see less dead spots running no noise rejection. So I'm running 67 to 68, uh, even down to 65 in some cases. Um, and I'm really uh, seeing less dead areas. Now, when we're talking about color gain, 80 to 90, yes, the lower the color gain, the better detail you see, but I'll trade a little bit of that detail for the popping of the bait. Um, and I'm finding running about 80 to 90, I run it a little bit higher because I really want that jig to pop. And I'm using a real, real small jig here for crappie fishing. Um, don't use grid overlay much, but I can see where folks love to run it. I, I really can see where this is an advantage. Look at that really nice fish there. Uh, really see a big old ball of bait fish right there. It's sweet. Um, reverse range. Um, I, I, if I'm bass fishing, I'm hiding it because I'm always out front. But if I'm a crappie fishing, I want it on minimum. That way I can get a little bit just in case the boat, it drifts up under the boat a little bit. Um, now, noise reject. I usually run it low to medium, but not anymore when I'm crappie fishing, especially, and I'm going to really experiment with this with bass fishing, uh, running it, um, you know, beautiful picture there, but running it off a little bit of ghost tree, but it's not bothering me because I'm getting what I want. I'm that no dead spots, uh, being able to track the bait and the fish the whole time, really liking that, uh, maybe run a little TVG at times, but even I'm turning that off a lot. Uh, focus, as you know, this is a per unit basis. It doesn't, it, it, I see so many people holler at, well, 137 focus or 163 focus. It's a per unit basis and set it on a per unit basis. And I believe that.